Zeke Conley here, Connor League Filming. Um, we're going to start the year off 2013. It's January 30th with um, a Rod and Reel um, Arsenal review. Here's our first combo. It is the Quantum Vantex combo. It is uh, I think 80 or $100 combo. I think it's 80 actually. Um, I actually broke the tape on this rod right here. It's supposed to be 7 foot, but I don't know what it is right now. It is supposed to... Well, this really, Rod and combo was, it's not weak at all. It's just the fact that I treated it like crap because this was one of my first combos. Um, as you can see, the cork is really dirty and right here is all messed up. But um, this is a really light combo. Uh, this is great for beginning on like Texas Red Worms and stuff like that. Um, it's really smooth. It's 7-1-1 gear ratio with 5 bearings. Um, this reel is about 6.5 ounces, I believe. And uh, this rod is 7 foot medium with um, IM6 graphite technology in it, as you can see there. Um, this reel. Okay, well this reel does not have EVA foam handles, um, it's just like regular plastic handles. It's not like the best of the best, but it's a pretty nice reel to start out with. Quantum Vantex, love it. Alright, so our next combo. Is the um is we're going from worst to best. All right, the next combo is the um South Bend Bill Dance um select spin reel and rod combo. Uh, this rod is better, definitely better than the reel. As you can see, the reel is a little bit big. Um, it's not a bad reel for bass. It's got a cool grip. You can put your fingers like that or whatever you want. Um, this rod is pretty short. This is a um six foot, I believe. It's a two piece, and it's it's just a really good combo to start out with if you're going to use a spin rod. Good for shaky head, drop shot, and wacky rig, stuff like that. Alright, our next is a um, Quantum Optics casting spin reel and um, a Shakespeare Open 6 spin rod. This is also a two-piece. It's a little bit better than that one. I know people hate Shakespeare, but... um. I'm not saying this is the greatest combo, but it's a great combo to start out with. Um, this this reel right here is a little large too. It's got an extremely comfortable handle right here. Um, it's really this one's not very old at all. It's pretty smooth. Um, this rod is more bendy than you think. Uh, it's heavier too. It's not it's not as light as that one. And um, let's go to our next combo. Next combo is a, um, a Daiwa Procaster, six foot rod, um, with a Abu Garcia Silver Max. This is not the newest version of Silver Max, but obviously it's the older one. Um, this was one of my first bait cast reels that I um, tore up a little bit. You can see the scratches on there. Um, this reel is I just love this reel. It, it's the six two one gear ratio, and it's about seven point five ounces too. Um, this rod is a one piece great rod to start out with. It is good for shaky head because it's a little short and it's easy to jig. Um, this reel has a really pretty long handle. Not definitely a cranking handle, but pretty long for compared to other reels. Um, it's got great grips right here. It's, um, slick rather. It's grippy. And it's got, and it's a, it's just a standard Abu Garcia reel. It's the Silver Max. Alright, next we have the um, Louis Speed Spool. It is an extremely great reel. Um, this one has been torn up a little bit by um, Stupid Connor behind the camera. He burnt the thing right here trying to get some line off. Um, My first reel. Yeah, his first reel. Uh, this is a 7 1 1 gear ratio. Um, it's got some cool, um, unusual handles. Paddle. But they're called paddle handles and they're. Really comfy, actually. It is got a star drag right here. It does it's, not click. It does not click. Neither does the um, fall speed. Um, it's got magnetic brakes right here. The um, side plate does not open. It does. Oh, actually, you know it does. <laughs> My bad. Um, it's an ugly stick light graphite Shakespeare rod. Um, this rod 
it's a beginner rod, but it's not the best. Um, it's just a good right, good rod to learn on, and this reel is awesome. All right, next this is my combo. Um, one of my combos actually. We have the um, Abu Garcia Vengeance. It is the same year as the Silver Max. It's an extremely good rod. Um, it's light and it looks kind of old because it doesn't have split grip. It's not as modern, but it's better than you'd think it is. It's it's got cool orange chrome, cool colors on it, and 24 ton graphite. This this is a one piece also. All right, on this we have a um we have a um, Shimano Sonora. Um, it's got the standard Shimano handle on it. It's a really comfortable handle. Um, this Shinora, Sonora Sonora um, has a crazy loud drag. Can you get close? That's just loud drag. The spinners are so much fun to have when the fish are pulling. You just know they're pulling hard. Um, this drag is pretty strong in this reel if you're looking for that. It has five bearings. Decent for a spinner reel. See, it's pretty difficult to pull in. Um, if you're checking out an uh, affordable but good spin reel, check out the Shimano Sonora Tackle Warehouse. Alright, next we have the um, KVD um, Signature Series combo. This is also one of mine. Um, I love this combo, I just got it recently. From me. From Connor. We did a little it's trade. The it's the um, Accurist Rod. It's a 6 6 medium. Um, it's got split grip with a little cork right here. Um, th this reel is it's just amazing. It's it's got EVA knobs right here. They're so comfortable. If you want a comfortable reel, reel, it just get this reel. It's it's um comes with this for about I think a hundred dollars. I don't think they do it anymore. Oh, yeah, actually, they might not do it in combo anymore. It was on sale, but um, this is an awesome combo. It's got a little gel seat right here on the reel, right there. Um, if you flip this, it goes to the, the automatic switch, lock. Flip and switch. Lock. It's a flip and switch, or you can have it on regular. And you have to flip it to do it to lock it. Um, this reel, I believe it's seven point two ounces. I I'm not sure. Seven point three. Yeah, something like that. It's got uh, magnetic brakes. And it and also has inside brakes right here. You just gotta push this little knob down right there, and then turn it down and pull. It rolls a spool. All right. We have um this cool brake right here, which um this controls I think the beginning of the cast, and then the magnetic. You can see the magnets right there controls the um the f at the end of the cast. All right. And that is the um, Quantum KVD series. All right, next. Another one have, of my combos. Yes, I traded this combo for the KVD. It is the um, Abu Garcia Aura SX, um, eight bearings, eight bearing seven one one um reel. It's got it's not a bent handle. It's actually fairly long, just like the Silver Max. Um. This reel has a, a very interesting dra um, brake system. It doesn't have magnetic. It looks like there's a little thing right there, but that's just a cover. To change the brakes, you can either do falling speed right there, or you can screw that open, pull this off, and get it. Come on. Oops. All right. We have um, pitch brakes right here. We have three pitch brakes, and then we also have centrifugal brakes. Um, the centrifugal um, they control the end of the cast, and the pitch control the beginning. And the beginning. Um, you can do any combination. Um, if you flip that little little yellow thing, flip it with your nail up, it that means it's on. Um, if you're trying to cast lighter baits, definitely use the pitch. Um, heavier baits use the centrifugal, but figure out any combination you want to uh, cast your bait out there. Um, this reel, I I like used to like to use it for cranking. Now it's Connor's. Um, and on this, this rod right here is the, um, Abu Garcia Vendetta. It's not the two, it's the first one. Um, I prefer the first one over the second one, because I felt the second one is fairly heavy.
but it is stronger though. Um, this Vendetta is just a great rod. It's only um, $80, $80, I think. Um, it's got cool colors on it. It's, it's very strong. And um, just check out this combo. Now my baby. Yes. This is probably the best combo we have here. Um, we got the St. Cory Mojo Bass Rod. It's a 7 foot medium heavy action. Um, it's a $100 rod. 100, 130 actually. Um, I don't know what it is on Taco Warehouse. Um, this is the um, spinner bait rod as it says right there. Focus in on that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, we have rather short um, cork handles right here. With the foam bottom. Yeah, with foam bottom. Because when you're putting your rod down, you, with the alloys, they get scratched up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, this rod has pretty... Um, strong guides. Yeah, pretty strong guides. They go... This, they, the strong ones go all the way up to here, and they're all reinforced until the last four, which are up there, or actually the last five, except the um, tip is reinforced. Um, this rod is a spinnerbait rod, but... Um, this is a really good rod for flipping also. It's medium heavy and it's long. It's just, and it's comfortable. It's just easy to flip out there. Um, last but not least, uh, the best thing we got here is the um, Quantum Smoke Big Cast Reel. It, um, this is a $220 version, deep spool, um, 731 gear ratio, with um, crazy awesome grips. I've never seen grips like, like this. Quantum needs to keep making these because they're so comfortable. They're like really thin and they look hard, but they're actually soft. If you've never felt one before. Um, clicking tension knob. Yeah, clicking tension knob, which I don't know why, but we love. And the drag is clicking too. Click just makes it more comfortable. Um, Has the ACS braking system. Yeah, ACS braking system right here. Um, it's pretty cool magnet brake that Quantum has designed. Um, all right, well, um, that's our 2013, that's our 2013, um, January edition review. All right, catch us later. Bye.